To treat the soft tissues of the scapula region and the mid to upper thoracic spine, uh, take the treatment mate and place it so this A ball or small ball is in the desired structure. Here I'm in the, on the T5-6 facet joint. You can use a transverse frictional scouring force to develop feel in this region or just a straight PA downwards pressure to mobilize the facet joint. All the time keeping this pivot and fulcrum end stable so it's not moving in unison with this top hand. This hand remains stable and the top hand does the force production. You can bias the mobilization in a more Keflad direction, like so. Or you can change it to a more Keflad pressure. And you can also use the left hand and treat the same spot, the same structure. Once again, keeping this end, the fulcrum pivot end stable and building up treatment pressure with the base of the left hand. And just move up the thoracic spine as desired, treating the facet joints or the costo transverse joints as desired. And then you can also transition into more the periscapular musculature using the left hand or the right hand, always keeping that pivot and fulcrum stable and using the top hand to do the torque production. And as you come up higher, you can drop the base here to the table as a, another option or once again, take it across and use the left hand. And then you can use the same position here to address the more upper, upper thoracic facet joints. Like so. and place it so this A ball or small ball at the end of the treatment mate like so in an upright position using that scouring action again trying to keep the, this end close to the body or a facet mobilization and this is obviously a, a stronger technique Getting into the levator scapular muscle here now. And then you can use this same more upright position using this end small ball to also treat the upper trapezius muscle by positioning the end against the hip. and accessing the trigger points in the upper trapezius muscle.